I'm Virtually Chris, and this is This Week in VR. Alright, so I'm going to be moving to college in about five days, so my room's a mess, and I've started to pack my camera equipment, things like that, but I still had to get a This Week in VR out for you guys. So the first story of this week is Minecraft VR is now out on the Oculus Store. So for those of you who have Oculus Rifts, it is pretty okay. I'd much prefer Vivecraft, but still for those who want to try out Minecraft in VR, the official supported version, definitely be sure to check that out. Next up is a user on the Vive subreddit has received a slimmer 3-in-1 cable, which goes from three cables, you know, the three Vive cables, to one, similar to how the Rift works. So this is huge uh, if it gets released or when it gets released. I think it'll definitely make the Vive a lot more viable, and everyone knows how awful the current Vive cable is, so this will definitely be a good step in the right direction. Next up is the Rift is going to hit retail in Europe and Canada on September 20, and in-store touch demos are going to begin in October, so for those of you who want to try out Oculus Touch, you'll be able to do so in October. Uh, it was confirmed later on Reddit that touch controllers won't be out in October, they'll be out later than that, but let's wait until Oculus Connect 3 to see when they actually will be released. Next up is Intel announced Project Alloy, which is a completely mobile VR headset uh, which allows for multi-room positional tracking. So they showed it on stage, it does look pretty cool, a little bit buggy at the moment, but it is going to be a fully wireless solution. And someone also tweeted a modified Vive headset with Intel tracking on the front, which is capable of doing the same exact thing. So it is safe to say that Intel is starting to work on VR. Nate Mitchell was asked how the Gear VR will compare to the Daydream headsets that are going to be coming out later this year. And he said, quote, I think that Gear VR is also going to be far and away the better mobile VR experience out there. And he added that it would remain that way for a long time. Next up is a short little story that Oculus Touch controllers have magnets in the rings so you can clip them together and they can stand up on a table. So just kind of a convenience feature that makes them that much more polished for final release. And the final story this week is the Senza Peso demo, all the Dev Kit 2 demo that everyone showed to everyone is now being resurrected for the CV1 and the Vive. There's no confirmed release date for this, but they are showing it off at conventions, and hopefully it will be released very soon. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. This has been Virtually Chris. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. It really helps out the video. And next week, I'm going to be in my college dorm room, so I'll see you all then. Bye. <laughs>